Ah. Alright guys, so I just actually spent a day with the Basis Bowie WM-03 and in this video, I'll actually talk about the things I like and the things I dislike about the WM-03. Now to make things as fair as possible, I actually Bluetooth paired it with my iPhone 12 mini and I did not use it with the Basis app. As for music wise, I actually set the EQ to neutral and I will actually be playing all the music from my Spotify app and it's actually based on the daily mix playlist. So I'll start things off with the things I like about the WM03. Now the first thing of course is actually the comfort and fit. The W3 earbuds are bigger and wider compared to the previous two generation and therefore I actually find it much easier to have a firmer grip. On, especially on the earbuds themselves. Now, putting on the earbuds is a simple task. It sits very naturally into my ears. I don't need to do like, you know, twist and turn like the previous two generation. I just pop it in and off I go. Now, unfortunately, I was wearing it, the earbuds for like, you know, less than an hour each time, mainly because I was commuting around. And it, of course, in the upcoming weeks, I will be doing more in-depth testing you know, on the comfort level for long hour wearing. Now, in terms of overall sound quality, the volume output is pretty decent, but definitely not one of the loudest I've tested. I always find myself around the 40% audio mark. This is actually to make sure that I'm actually able to hear the, you know, the MRT announcement and the bus bell. Now for music quality wise, on the neutral EQ setting, it delivers decent bass with some nice punches and kicks. It also delivers some of the lower, darker sub bass with some rumbles. Now vocals is clear with good separation between the main vocals and the background singers. Instruments are clean and clear so far. And there's actually some nice left and right separation, but lacks the details uh, in distance, imaging, and space. Just that so far, I feel that it's decent. In terms of battery life and charging, I feel that the overall battery life is really good. Each time I wear the earbuds for about an hour, it drains around 12% of battery life. Uh, if we were to use this as a guide, the earbuds will work out to have no issues lasting about 8 hours uh, if I were to wear them for an entire day. Now, if I were to know whether my earbuds are charging properly in the case or not, I just need to take note of the breathing ring LED light on the earbuds to indicate whether they're charging or not. And not only that, the ring LED light on the earbuds are very bright compared to the WM02. Now, the next thing I like about the WM03 is actually the multi-point connection or what Basis call it as the Basis Smart Connect or BSC. Now, this is actually extremely useful during my one day of usage, you know, especially when I'm editing a video on my MacBook and someone calls me on my iPhone. WM03 will automatically switch over to my iPhone and I can just double tap to answer. And after I ended a call, WM03 will automatically switch back to my MacBook Air. Now, the gaming mode is probably the only thing I feel neutral during my one day of using it, as I actually don't feel any differences at all with and without the gaming mode. But of course, that could be due to the fact that I'm actually using the iPhone 12 mini. But I do feel that, you know, certain in-game sounds are louder than usual. Now, all right then. Now, with the things I like about the WM03 out of the way, let's talk about the things I don't like. And the first thing I actually don't like is actually the touch commands. Now, oddly, the default command for the WM03 do not include play and pause. I mean, hello, basis, play and pause. What? What the f It's like this is of all the commands to remove, you remove the most basic and fundamental of all. It's really inconvenient, especially when I was testing it without the app at all, because a lot of time I'm like constantly reaching for my iPhone whenever I want to like pause and play or now the second thing I actually don't like is actually the spatial audio or like what basic call it is 
uh, B style, which is the basic immersive spatial audio. The thing is this, straightforward, I don't like it because it makes all the songs I listen to like it's kind of like softer and airy well it's a, like it's a little bit too airy that i actually don't like it at all so and the third thing i actually don't like is so far is the microphone quality on the wm03 now i actually made a couple of phone calls using different platforms like the default phone call app the whatsapp the facebook messenger um and i felt that when I'm using the built-in microphone on the WM03 with the default calling app, the microphone quality, my, like my voice is actually pretty poor. And But when I switch over to WhatsApp, it's like it's equally poor as well, uh, even though like both party have like full signal coverage. But the surprise winner was actually on Facebook Messenger when I was using it as a phone call. It was clear most of the time with just some occasional choppiness like maybe a full sentence of like 10, 12 seconds and then there's like maybe a split second, one word is being missed out. 90% is okay. So in summary, I feel that so far, um, after using it for the day, what I like about the WM03 is firstly the comfort, the fit, the sound quality, uh, the multi-point connect and the battery life. What I didn't like is actually the spatial audio, uh, the default touch command and the microphone quality. All right, and there you have it. This has actually been my initial impression of the basis Bowie WM03 after using it for a day. Stay tuned for my full review. So do remember to subscribe to my channel, activate the bell, like this video. And uh, my name is Johnny. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.